Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. I want to talk to you guys about the HUD, the heads up display, which is what you see all around the screen here. Uh, let's talk about over here first. Uh, so, this is your energy bar, hunger bar, health bar, and comfort bar. Energy is effective, uh, depends on what you're doing as an activity. Depends if you got a fish on or you're digging. Uh, digging will will need the whole entire bar in order to dig or if you fight a uh, powerful fish this will affect your energy and if your energy gets too low uh, just spam cough your teeth and bring it back up now hunger bar I keep it low for a reason people ask me why and I'll explain why is because if you get a big fish and that fish is struggling and you're trying to pull against it and your energy is going to go down and the problem is if your hunger bar is full you cannot recover your energy because you're too full so you cannot use tea or coffee so keep your hunger bar down so that way you can use your drinks if you need it as an emergency okay health bar this is effective this is affects you if you drink too much alcohol. Too much alcohol will drop your health bar. Like say if your health bar is half, what's gonna happen is that if your energy is half, you cannot recover the energy beyond what the health bar is. So make sure that you keep don't drink too much alcohol. But if you do, uh you have to use some type of medicine that you can buy from the um, store which will help you cover that, but it's expensive, so keep that in mind. Uh, don't drink too much. Trust me, it's not worth it. Only drink when you know you got a big fish on and that you're about to uh, land it. That's when you want to drink alcohol, so get the, the tipsy bonus. Okay, so this is your chat. So everything that you're gonna see here is basically everybody that's talking or like for example you drink it or eat this will show up where people catching anything from rod real line breakage everything you'll see even tro uh weekly tro trophies and whatnot or weekly catches i mean sorry and up here is uh profile you can view uh people's profile by clicking on their name you can send a private message to them or if you think the player is annoying you or you are offended by it, you can blacklist them so you can't see that person in chat or they can't message you. Now, if you think a person is being racist or rude or whatnot, you can report that person um, for inappropriate behavior and that chat log will be sent to the um, admins for review. And up here is your um, your bait and stuff. So this shows how much uh, bait you have and what you can. And this icon is for a PVA. Um, so if you have a PVA on, this will uh, highlight. So if you're using a uh, feeder rod or a carp rod, this will show bait, uh, dips, round bait, and PVA. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, to chat players and messages, right? Um, this shows the current uh, chat group that you're in and who's the owner. And the players, and you click on that, it'll show all the uh, players that's listed in that group. All right, so let's go over here. This shows the current weather. Uh, this the the moon means it's just basically nighttime, uh, partly cloudy. Time of day, which is two and a half minutes uh, for every in-game hour, uh, and this is shows the temperature. Uh, wind speed one point nine uh, millisecond, which is coming from the west. Which will come down here and check this out. So, this is your compass. The arrow points uh, which way you're facing. Like, I'm facing all the way south, partly west. 
and this is your coordinates underneath the uh, arrow. And this little uh, dot right here basically show which way the wind's facing. You see how it shows west, so the wind is actually blowing from the west. And this right here is your fish net. You can have a max of 100 fish before you uh, have to uh, sell or discard fish. You can hold max amount of fish is 100. Or if you have premium, that's 150 fish you can have for max. Okay, so let's uh, talk about this next. So I did a little editing to help uh, better understand uh, what the tension bar is all about. This is why I did color coding here. So the center bar right here is actually going to be your safe zone. This means that you're not struggling with the fish. It'll be easy to be able to bring it up. There's no fight. So you don't have to raise the friction brake too, uh, too much. Now, if you are starting to struggle with the fish, like if the fish is stronger, you're going to tension bar is going to turn to orange. That means you're struggling. Either you got your friction brake too high that you need to lower it. And also, when it's in orange, it sometimes be running. And what's going to happen is that when you, if the fish runs too long, that this is going to change color right here. This is your friction break. And if the fish is running and struggling and you're pulling too much, and the fish, you can't keep control of it, it's going to start burning your, your reel. So if that happens, if you cannot keep that under control at all, and if your tension stays in red and the fish is still running and you're struggling really um, hard with the fish, uh, eventually that your friction is going to turn from orange to red. That means your your uh, friction brake is having some serious damage um, going on. And if you don't st uh, keep that under control, you will have heavy damage on your friction brake percent. Um, so make sure you keep your friction brake uh, low if that is happening. So that way you can keep it under control. Now if you start having this problem when you're, the fish is burning your reel, uh, lower your friction brake down as quick as possible. That way you can try to get under control if you can't. It's best off to uh, either uh, alt F4 or just leave the line slack so the fish can get off. So another thing I want to talk about, when the fish is running, this is your spool right here. Um, when you cast, this basically shows how far you cast it. But if the fish starts running, this is going to start um, either, you know, dropping here, the bar will keep diminishing more and more and more. Once it's over here about... Uh, about 20%, this will start turning yellow. And if it's about 10% or 5%, this will start turning red. That means you're about to be spooled that the fish is going to uh, break you off. So I would alt F4 if you start going in orange and red. And this right here, this icon shows that you're snagged. So it, to get out of that, just... um. There's real and right click to try pull out. Uh, if you notice that you can't uh, reel and you're stuck, if this icon pops up, that's why. Now there's there's cases where you will actually get snagged without this icon. That means a ghost snag. This type of snag is hard to get off. Um, only suggestion I would do is to alt. F4 to get out of it and just reload the game. Uh, KG, this means that you got too heavy a weight on, which going against your rod's test. Make sure you pay attention to your test on your rod. If you go over that, this icon will appear. Now, what I was talking about the danger zone, if you are at the max on your, uh, on your tension, What's going to happen is that you're going to see a small red bar or barrier flashing around this whole entire bar. And this is going to start flashing right here. This means that you're about to um, break something. Either it's your line, rod, uh, 
real, whatever is your weakest point. So make sure that your line or leader always the weakest point. That way that is a thing that gets damaged, not your your rod. So there's also chances to um it's also time where your um this um will be lit up even though when you don't have no fish on. This means that you have something that damaged either your friction brake or your uh rod me mechanism needs to be repaired. That mean that means it damaged you need to repair it. Otherwise you are going to break it. Okay. That pretty much explains everything about the HUD. I hope that you guys like the video. If you guys do, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. And I thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye guys.